Good morning, my name is Matthew Stones from Axel and today I'm making a short video to show how to set up the function buttons on any kind of dictation hardware for any type of dictation software. So in this particular case I'm using a Philips speech mic but what I say applies to any type of speech mic and the software I'm using is software from a company called uh, Dictation Buddy but again what I say applies to any uh, software. So basically this is a universal technique for using any hardware with any software. So the first thing to do on the terminal is to enable audio redirection. So down here audio play and record is speaker and microphone so we set that to yes and then when we log in we get audio and to test that if you click on the audio symbol in the bottom right corner of the screen playback devices brings up this and if we click on test the sound comes out of the speech mic if you go on to recording if I tap the microphone you can see the sound bars moving so from a Windows point of view the audio is now working so from the dictation software if I click on record I guess it's recording the sound bar is moving and if I stop it and play record. I guess it's recording the sound bar is moving it's working and if I but the point is that the the buttons are currently totally inactive they're not doing anything whatsoever so that is the second thing is to get the buttons working so with this software, and I suspect all dictation software, you can drive it from the keyboard. So if I press Control R, it starts recording, and if I press Control R again, it stops recording, and I press Control P, it starts playing. Start recording. And, I press control. and what we can do with the specific firmware on the terminal is to map those key sequences to the buttons on the device. So to do that, we enter setup, control, alt, escape, go into terminal. With the correct firmware installed, we have a new option down here, voice recorder. And then first step is you hit the space button and you click the button you want to record. So I will click the record button. Now these options down here would be if you wanted to map one of the keyboard keys up here, the audio keys, up on the keyboard here, which we don't want to do, we want to map a key sequence, Control R. So we go into Other and then we press Control R. So you can see here now Stop and Stop is Record, it's, it's a toggle type button. Uh, the key sequence is Control R. So when you press the Record button on the speech mic, it's equivalent to the keyboard sending a Control R and the software we know responds to a control R by stopping or starting recording. So I'll save that. I'll do one further key for the second slot. I will do the play key. So press the play button. Go down to other. And then press control P. And save that save and quit out. So now from the speech mic if you press the record button it starts to record and you can hit recording. If I press the record button again it stops and if I hit the play button you can see the buttons now work and you can of course program all the function buttons for their default fast forward fast back and the other buttons the function buttons you can program to do whatever you like. With this particular software, Dictation Buddy, if you hover the cursor over any of the buttons, then a pop-up pops up giving you the actual key sequence. So record, it says down there, Control R, and play, the little pop-up says Control P. So you can get all of the actual functions simply by hovering over the button. Now, different software providers will have different ways. Some will just give you a documented page giving all the control sequences. But once you know those codes, they can be programmed to any of the buttons on the uh, speech mic hardware. So 
So I hope that clarifies. And if you have any questions, then please contact your normal Axel office. Thank you very much, and bye for now.